Heavenly Father, you always amaze me. Let your kingdom come in my world and in my life. Give me the food I need to live through the day. And forgive me as I forgive. Hey friends, Jonathan Melton from St. Francis House and here with the continuing 100 year anniversary. It has been so much fun to receive video stories, written stories, other stories of God at work uh, through lots of generations and lots of decades here at St. Francis House. I hope you've had a chance to see a couple of the videos. They're on Facebook. You can find them through our website. Uh, and just now I want to share with you a letter that came in the other day from Rose Linhard McGee sharing her memories and reflections from her time at St. Francis House, which began when she stepped onto this campus for the first time in 1953. Dear St. Francis House, I arrived in Madison as a beginning freshman in September 1953, enrolled in New Student Week. One voluntary event during that week was to visit the open house of religious denomination of your choice. Already a committed Episcopalian, I went to St. Francis House. Just as I was about to leave, a young man walked in. He was Jim McGee. He had lived at St. Francis House as a freshman, but now as a sophomore had moved into his fraternity house. When I asked him later why he came back, since this open house was really for new students, he replied, to see who the new girls were. I walked home from that reception with a friend who'd gone gone to another function, I remember telling her, I just met a really nice guy. She replied, you've just gotten here. It didn't matter. Jim and I became an item by that Christmas, and we were married in April 1956 at St. Mark's Episcopal Church in Evanston, Illinois, where I was raised. I joined a sorority, but I also liked my church affiliation. Jim and I became regulars at St. Francis House. I was on the altar guild, served under the tutelage of Mrs. Otto, who was also the house mother. Wonderful woman, full of fun. In fact, every Christmas she would make a delicious eggnog for everyone, full of all sorts of alcohol. I think she and all of us imbibers could have been fired and or kicked off the campus if word had gotten out. She also had a Siamese cat and thought Babette could or would mate only with another Siamese cat, and thus was horrified when Babette had six black kittens. Everyone loved Mrs. Otto. She was the widow of an Episcopal priest, and in those days a house mother was required to live there as there were six male students who were residents. They were supposed to be Episcopalians and could live there for free, as Jim had his freshman year. The men had janitorial duties to earn their keep, and they also served as acolytes. St. Francis House served supper on Sunday evenings. Practically all the dorms, fraternities, sororities, etc. did not serve meals on Sunday evenings, so it was very handy to have supper those times at St. Francis House. All sorts of people would show up, some homeless, etc. In addition, we always had a summer picnic. Then there was Father White. He was originally from England only man I've ever known who waxed his eyebrows so they stood out straight to the side. We were all fond of him, even though his sermons were too long. For fun, Jim and I would time them. To this day, I time sermons, creature of habit. I never knew his history or why he ended up in Madison. Even now I keep up with St. Francis House as I have a college friend who lives in Madison when I was in there for a class reunion in 2007, friends and I attended Holy Communion at St. Francis House one evening. Unofficial plans are to gather again in Madison, 2017, for yet another reunion. I have lived for 53 years now in Bellevue, Washington, suburb of Seattle. I am a member of St. Thomas Church in another suburb, Medina. Jim died seven years ago. Our children all live nearby. I've had fun reminiscing as I've been writing. Would you like Miss, Mrs. Otto's eggnog recipe? Yes, please. I also have a yearbook picture of St. Francis House residents in 1952, 1953 could make you a copy. Whatever, I wish you all well as you celebrate St. Francis House's anniversary. Yours truly, Rose Linhard McGee, September 22nd, 2015. 
Thank you, Rose. Thank you, all of you. Uh, what a joy and privilege it is to to share in a legacy of, of God at work to this campus, through this community uh, for so many years. Um, it's, it's a privilege. We thank God for you. I thank God uh, for God's work here through you. And I thank God for the, the new things uh, God will do through us yet. Take care. Peace.